Hello and welcome to my tutorial on OCRAS chemistry on titrations. Now an acid base titration is a special type of volumetric analysis in which you react a solution of acid with base and you gradually do this until you neutralize your 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 acid or base depends which or which way you want to do it. Use an indicator. One can, one can um, it tell whether the solution is completely neutralized or not. If you draw your attention to the table, methyl orange is typically redder than acid, and it's also and it's yellow in the base. Now it would, but if it changed color orange, now that's it. You you stop, you you, you stop letting out the acid or base. It depends whether you placed it in your your petal, your burette. So the unknown, but it's typically defined find out the concentration of the solution, a molar mass, or a formulae of, of your um your solution. So use standard solutions to find out unknown information about the substance dissolved in the second solution. Or like you can also find out the number of molecules of water of crystallization. Carry it out like this. One, using a pipette, you add a measured volume of one solution to a conical flask. Two, the other solution is placed in the burette. And three, the solution in the burette is added to the solution in the conical flask until the reaction has just been completed. This is called the end point of the titration. The volume of the solution is added from the burette and it is measured. So, moving on to part two, we're calculating unknowns from the titration results now. So, looking at this example, in a titration, 25 centimeters cubed of 0.15 moles decimeters cubed sodium hydroxide and AOH, we get exactly the exactly point is um, is used to say look, it's bang on accurate. I didn't put more of one solution into the other. It reacted exactly here because I didn't fumble with the tap too much. Anyway, with 23.4 centimeters cubed of sulfuric acid H2SO4, we act exactly. So you don't have to um, include human error in any of these calculations. So you calculate the amount in mole of NaOH that reacted. So the moles of sodium hydroxide would be concentration times volume over a thousand, 0.15 times 25 over a thousand equals 3.75 times 10 to the minus 3 moles. And two, two NaOH plus two H S S H H two S O four. Looking at the equation up here, um, we know two mole plus one mole makes three moles. So if we look here, two to one ratio. So if we divide this by two, we get one point eight seven five times ten to the minus three. And going on to the second page now for part three. Um, we have concentration of sulfuric acid, so it will be N times a thousand over volume, so moles times a thousand over the volume. This makes 8.01 times 10 to the minus 3 moles per decimeter cubed. And we're looking at a second example now. A student dissolved 2.794 grams of an acid HX in water and made the solution up to 250 centimeters cubed. The student titrated 25 centimeters cubed of this solution against 0.0614 moles per decimeter cubed of sodium carbonate Na2CO3. 23.45 centimeters cubed of Na2CO3 were needed to reach the endpoint. So one, you calculate the amount in moles of Na2CO3 that reacted, and then you calculate the amount in moles of Hx that we used in the titration, and then you calculate the amount in moles of Hx that was used to make up the 250 centimeters cubed solution. Then you finally can calculate the concentration in grams per mole of the acid Hx. So looking at this massively long equation, that didn't take up so much space because of my writing, but oh well, Na2CO3 plus 2HX to make 2NAX because we're following the laws of acids and bases now 
um, and we get CO3 plus H2O as well. So using the laws of additives and bases, as I talked about in previous tutorials, you can determine what it's going to look like. So we have the moles of sodium carbonate. So C times concentration times volume over a thousand gives 0 0.0614 times 23.45 over a thousand, which gives 1.44 times 10 to the minus three moles. So for part two, we have NO2. Na2CO3 plus 2HX, so 1 mole plus 2 mole. So 1 mole would be 1.4 times 10, 4, 4 times 10 to the minus 3. So doubling that, we get 2.88 times 10 to the minus 3 moles. Now we're moving on to part 3, where we look at the equation again and say to ourselves if 25 centimeters cubed of HX contains 2.88 times 10 to the minus 3, Therefore, that times 10 should be 2.88 times 10 to the minus 2. I'm reducing it by, I'm oh sorry, increasing it by 10. So I'm reducing my powers of 10. So the, mo so the moles will be more, not less, more. So N is M over molar mass, mass over molar mass. But you can rearrange this to molar mass equals mass over moles and we get 97 grams per mole so then finally looking at part 4 we can determine what it is okay so now we'll go through some questions so if you would like to have a go please press pause and um, have a go and then I'll come back with it when I write down the answers. And it, um, if you don't understand it, you can always go back through the video before you start the questions, or you can always just skip ahead if you want more examples. So I'll give you a five-second pause, and so please press pause and have a go, please. And then I'll, I'll go through the answers. <laughs> 